Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to talk about the different jobs you can get that doesn't involve a lot of programming. So let's get started. All right, so I just kind of wanted to go over the fact that as a computer engineering student, you're most of the time expected to code or to be able to do some sort of software development or software work or working with the hardware or working with some technical aspect of the actual computer. But there are other avenues and other paths and um, jobs that you could take with a computer engineering degree or even electrical engineering degree. Um, that doesn't involve a lot of programming. So the first thing would probably be a tech support specialist, which are those who help others uh, work a program or work a software system or run like a application on a platform, um, being able to configure the computer. If your computer were to crash and you had Windows 10, then you would call that you know tech support specialist to help you get that computer back up and running and get the operating system working the way it should. It's very uh, standard type of work as in you just kind of do the standard procedures of like restarting the computer running those different uh, commands to make sure that the operating system has been refreshed or the cache has been cleared whatever it may be it's not a lot of programming you don't have to code anything it's all there for you you just have to kind of follow the instructions based on the symptoms of the computer or the application whatever the error may be uh, showing. So the next thing is um, enterprise software sales. So you can sell software programs or applications to others for that company. Um, you could do this as a computer engineer because you have that background on the tech part of the actual program. You know how it works and how it operates. So you're that much better able to uh, provide the user or the customer uh, a better understanding on how the actual program works and the back end of it as well. The only thing is it's different from the other one that I had mentioned because your salary is based on commissions from the sales that you get. And so because of that, you may not be getting as much per year, but if you're a good people person and you know how to sell stuff, I mean, you're, you're just good with others and you're very personable and approachable and you just don't like programming, I'd suggest that'd be a good avenue. Uh, to take. Another thing is being a manager of uh, other engineers. Once again, if you're a people person and you're good at giving instructions, you know what you need to do, you know what needs to be done and able to uh, prioritize and see the bigger picture of, you know, the improvement of the program or the software, whatever it may be. If you're good at visualizing that and communicate very well, then being a manager of engineers is perfect for that and you can do that with a computer engineering degree or an electrical engineering degree. Um, in fact, it may even be better because you know what those engineers are doing um, based on your previous um, undergraduate experience or your you know, college experience. You know the type of work that they're focusing on and that way it'll be that much easier for you to communicate with them and understand where they're coming from as well and be basically a better manager overall. The next thing you can become is a web analytics specialist or a data analytics specialist. So those are ones that kind of process data, analyze the data, um, and be able to give a conclusive result on the data that was gathered. So because of that, they don't have to do a lot of coding, don't have to build anything. But once again, you don't get paid as much. So you could become that with a computer engineering degree. It's just up to you. I just, I don't know if it's worth getting an engineering degree and then becoming a, a specialist or a technician. Um, if you're gonna do that, just do a, a get associate's degree or get uh, some other degree in another field because engineering is a really rigorous course. And if you're going to go through those four years and get a degree in that, you might as well get a good paying and a good stable job. So at the end of the day, if you decide to get a computer engineering degree or an electrical engineering degree and you don't like coding, and you don't like working with hardware, or you're not really good with sales, but you wanna make at least the same amount as an engineer, then I think the only option would probably be to be a manager. It's the highest paying and it's more of a stable income. Whereas um, with a tech support, you may not get as much because you're not building a program, you're not trying to solve problems that haven't been solved. And then also with the software salesperson, you won't be getting paid as much you know from the get-go and it's just not as stable yes you could make more because you're a good people person 
and you're able to um, you know make a lot of sales and get commissions on those sales but it, there's no guarantee there whereas with a manager there is a guarantee that you will be making not only more but more than an average engineer um, because you're managing them I think that that would be your only option really if you want to just make even if you want to make more money than the average engineer um, then definitely try to go for a managerial position and I think there are ways that you can have a manager um, focus as a computer engineering student or electrical engineering student and that would help you even more with getting that position so all in all you should probably get a manager position if you don't like coding and you don't like doing hardware or anything like that um, but yeah if you guys found this useful or if you found it helpful uh, please let me know in the comment section down below and if you want me to go into more detail on like other positions you can get um, or maybe go into detail about that managerial position then please let me know and if you found it helpful please like subscribe and share and thanks for watching bye